Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Big news, we hit a thousand subscribers. This channel is now rolling in dough. Just kidding, we make like $5 a month. Anyway, we've got the transmission reinstalled in our 1990 GMC K1500, um, and we're gonna show you probably the trickiest part of that reinstall process today, which is adjusting the TV cable. Here's a look at the new TV cable. Uh, it is a GM TV cable. We'll link the part number in the description below. And I wanna show you while it's out of the truck how to adjust it. So if we take a look here, there is a button on the TV cable, this little brass button here. So if we push that button in, you can see that the length of the cable can change. And then when you release the button, it fixes that length. So basically, once we have it in the truck, we'll push that button in. Once the uh, throttle cable here is connected, we'll push the button in, go to wide open throttle, and then release the button, and that's how we'll set the adjustment. Here we are on the passenger side of the transmission. I've got the TV cable here in my hand. The end of the TV cable has a small hole in it, and there is a hook that sticks up from the transmission. So you'll want to thread that hook through the hole in the TV cable, just like that. And there's a um, gasket or kind of an O-ring here that goes into the transmission to seal this TV cable up. We've already put a new gasket in. So now we'll just push the TV cable down and into that rubber gasket. We've got a little bit of grease on it there to help it slide in. There we go. And then it's held in place with one 10 millimeter bolt here. Okay, so we've got the bolt installed. There's actually no adjustment that's done down here at the transmission end. All of the adjustment of this cable is done up under the hood, which we'll show you next. This is the other end of the TV cable. It comes through a bracket here, so this is the throttle bracket, and there are two clips that hold it securely in this bracket. The reason we actually replaced our cable is that these clips were broken on the old cable. Um, so as you can see with the new cable, it's firmly mounted into this throttle bracket, so it just pushes straight through. And then it clips onto the throttle body on this stud right here. So we'll just take this cable, pull it over the stud, and then you'll want to push it back until it snaps onto that stud. You can hear it snap right there. So next up, we'll do the adjustment. So we're ready to do the adjustment. Everything's connected. Uh, we're going to push the button on the side of that TV cable, like I showed you earlier in the video, using the screwdriver. Um, the way it's mounted in the truck, it's actually kind of tough to get at, but you can get in there with a screwdriver. And so while somebody's pushing in the button on the TV cable, I'll rotate the throttle body to wide open throttle. And you see how that's pulling that TV cable out and adjusting the length appropriately. So there's wide open throttle. We'll release the button. There we go. So let's do it one more time. Go ahead and push the button. Release the button. There we go. The cable is just enough uh, travel there to go all the way to wide open throttle. So we were just reviewing the video and I noticed there was a tiny bit of slack in the cable with that previous adjustment. Uh, so I went ahead and just shortened this uh, TV cable just a little bit. So push the button in and, and, and push that back in by hand, just about an eighth of an inch to get rid of that slack. So now when the truck is just at idle, uh, the cable's not tight, but there's no visible slop in it. And it still is able to go all the way to wide open throttle. And when we return, there's no slop here. So I, I like that adjustment a lot better. Just wanted to add that into the end of the video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that content, please do subscribe. We've got a lot more projects that we're gonna do on the truck.